everybody how are you guys doing it is i don't know it's late i am trying to finish up my christmas tree and the thing that i've been putting off the longest is making a giant bow for the top of it uh, which i don't usually like for the top of a christmas tree but i'm kind of out of options and i was just like i'll put a bow up there because this tree has a lot on it so probably simpler is better so i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen different ribbons um let's shove them in a bow shall we i have stuff from walmart um family dollar dollar tree craft outlet craft outlet craft outlet craft outlet craft outlet craft outlet, craft outlet. um i think this is walmart this is walmart yeah so a little bit of everything i am going to start with my I think I'm gonna start with like my Dollar Tree, my cheaper ribbon in the back because I only have a little tiny bit of this. Um, and I want my nicer ribbons in the front, obviously, so you can see them. So I'm gonna start off with this Dollar Tree ribbon. It's the kind of canvasy one that has a little strip of like netting in the middle. And I do have another video on making a tree topper bow. That I filmed either during like the beginning of quarantine or for Christmas in July. It, it, it was, I can't, I don't know what time it is anymore. So the one that I did was eight inches. So it ended up being 16. I would like this one to be a little larger. So I'm going to measure from here just for the first couple ones because I want them to be 10 inches and I can't get to 10 inches because it only goes to 8 inches on that side so oh is this a good idea this is a good idea but we'll see this is gonna be a mighty big bow so I it only goes to eight so I'm just gonna measure using my cutting board to get the ten and then I can measure out this way to get back to ten or just use this as a guide oh why am I using these crappy scissors put those away all right and I'm doing like a what is it a terry bow yeah it's a terry bow I think so I'm going to do this one next. I'm going to do it at 10 again. I think if there's enough, there might not be. So I start off here to here. 10 and twist. And if there's not enough, I'll just take it out and Oh, those are some big loops, huh? Okay, that worked. Surprisingly. Alright, so this one's gonna go down. I'm gonna do a little pre-shaping here. You go up. You go up, down, down, up. Okay, this is like, wow. All right, uh, so now I'm gonna go down to nine, I guess. Maybe, there, this feels like there's nothing. use that for something else um let me throw in some of this because i know i have a considerable amount of this and i have plenty left in another roll so
this eight, and then this is... Okay, I'm gonna go by the actual measurement of it, so. too picky about the back layers because there's going to be so much on top. Alright, so that's nine. Um, what do we think? Should we try to go down to eight with maybe the silver? Um, we might be able to. This ribbon. It's so pretty, but I hate it. Look at it's a good like it's a dollar, so it's a good price. But I feel like I should be buying it and then like coating it with Mod Podge. Like just unrolling the whole thing, Mod Podging it, and then getting on with my life. Pack like I don't want it to be a big oh son of a Alright, let's see. Maybe we can do it. I know we can't, but let's try. Can I just get back to the middle? Because I've set up but just getting back to the middle. I should have waited on. I'm gonna wait. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, y'all. Call them the audible there. Wait, is that a thing? Is an audible a thing? All right, so I want to save this for the front because it's the striped one. Like I want to put the striped ribbon towards the front. I'm just going to keep building this thing. I'm going to tell you as I go what the sizes are. Today I went, my mom worked for like three hours today and then she went home at like seven o'clock in the morning. Um, and I was already planning to go do a little shopping. So I went over there and I was like, you want to come with me? She's like, no, but yes, but no. Because she was off yesterday and you know, around 11 o'clock, she's like, I'm so bored. And I was like, yeah, welcome to my life. But I'm never actually bored because I always have something to do. So when got her and I was like, I'm going shopping because I got I got uh, paid. And she's like, what you gonna get? And I was like, I don't know. So I'm gonna go Michaels, I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx, I'm gonna go to Rock Ross Dress for Less, I'm gonna go to the fancy grocery store, I'm gonna go to Petco, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go there. I ended up spending $15 at Michaels. <laughs> Um, and then I was like, this was super disappointing again.
Just because I'm like, mm, do I want that? I think Craft Outlet has like ruined me for shopping and like actual craft stores. Because I'm like, oh my god, this is this would this would be forty seven dollars cheaper on Craft Outlet. This is a Walmart ribbon. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do seven inch loops, but the tails I'm leaving a little bit longer. So we went to Michael's and then Petco, a PetSmart. We saw the cutest little dog in PetSmart. Um, I was walking, I was like, I was like, oh god, is that a rat? And I looked down and it was this tiny, I mean he must it was a little girl. She must have been like this long. And um I was like, hold up, hold up, and the lady was like, hey. And I was like, what is that? She's like, that's my dog. And I was like, how old is she? And she said, oh, she's about four weeks. And I was like, what the hell are you doing with a dog away from its mama at four weeks? But she sure was cute. I couldn't have no, Weenie was that small when I got him. He was a little bitty and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna kill this dog. a break from this and uh, pull these out where they need to be. So you go up and you come down, hang up and down. You go up. Always, I'm always like when I start making bows I forget to do this and then I'm at the end. So then this comes down and this one goes up and this goes up this goes down and if you've never made one of these bows before your loop goes up your loops are here your tails are here and then they alternate for the next round so because there I pulled the loop down here I'm gonna pull a tail down here and put the loop up Here's a tail, so I know I need the loop. And then here goes the tail. And then loop, tail, loop, tail. And it's just, it also serves to kind of get in here so you can see where you're at. Of course, I, this is at seven. All right. You need to go. Like, where are you coming from? Y'all need to get. Okay, that's better. I like that. I like how it works out like that. Okay, so we did the sheer silver and red. What do we think now? This is usually, this is still longer than where I usually start my bows. So I'm going to do six and a half. I'm going to start going down by halves now. Um, I was like, should I do a haul of my Michael stuff? And then I was like, I, I literally just bought pom poms and yarn. That's it. All right, so I might put some of this closer towards the top. I think I'm ready to introduce this one. Hopefully, I can get. Oh yeah, I should be good. So this will be at. Six. This ribbon is so stiff. I actually come down here and measure the tails. Because 
I like to like completely get in that good. I was tempted to take out my Probo to do this, but um, yeah. Too. And I'm 90% sure I already lost all the pegs. All right, I almost cut that. It's back around. I also did a, uh, while I was at my mom's house today, you know, we, we picked up some lunch at the grocery store. I got some sushi. She got a, a crawfish pie. Is that a normal thing for me to say? Like, oh, she got a crawfish pie. Um, and I said, hey, while I'm here, I want to go around the house and because my mom has a lot of my stuff in her house. And I was like, let's just go around. We'll make like a fun little video where you're like giving a tour of the stuff in the house. And um, she's like, oh, okay. So we went through and I was like, you know, this, 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 this. And we, we completely got off track. Like, it was just... I was like, wait, who is this? And she's like, that's your cousin on your dad's side. Who was decapitated. And I was like, oh. Because we were, like, looking at pictures in the hallway. And I was like, alright. I don't, I don't think that is something we want. Alright, so I'm going to five and a half. So I will either have to heavily edit that video because it really did like go completely off the rails or just scrap it and maybe try to do it again next time I'm over there. It's so weird filming like actual stuff like when I'm doing a shop with me and I don't have control over who's walking around me or the lighting. Cause I was like, mom, why is this house so dark? And she's like, my house is not nearly as dark as your house. And I was like, oh, I guess it's just because I sit in front of these 87 lights that are slowly destroying my corneas. Well, my one good cornea. Y'all know I got a cadaver cornea, huh? All the stuff I talk about, I probably never, talk, probably never mentioned that before. Five and a half. Um, I guess I'll go in with this since I have it. If this thing falls apart, you guys, I'm leaving this video completely as is and I'm just gonna go buck wild, crazy, run out into the streets, stop pulling people out of their cars like I'm Grand Theft Auto. Yes, I have a, I have a, um, I have a, um, the cornea in my left eye, which does not work, which I am legally blind in, <coughs> came from a organ donor. It was 83. I was like 19 months. No, I might have had it when I was older than that. I lost my eye when I was 19 months old. And then uh, I got the implant at some point. I remember I went to. I didn't. I didn't know what that. I was a, a baby, and I remember going to the doctor like when I was older. And my doctor, who had been my doctor since I was a 19 month old, um. My eye doctor, since I was a 19 month old, he said something and I was like, what does that mean? And he's like, that means that your eye came from someone who passed away. And I was like, what? What? And my mom was like, yeah, you knew that. I was like, no, I didn't know that. Take it out. I don't want a dead person's eye. She's like, okay, calm down. I wonder, I wonder who that person was. That's not their eye, it's their cornea, but... 
Try telling a seven-year-old that. Okay, so what was this? I don't even know what this was at. This was at five, so we'll do like four and a half. This is getting way, way too big. At this point, I'm just kind of guessing what my measurements are. this already? Yes, I did. Maybe I'll finish up with this if I can get two loops out of it. This would be four. And since I can't see anymore, six to four. Then I'm just doing this on the mat. all these except for this one. I didn't really want to end with white, but so four inches twist. Got it centered on the ten right here. else that we just get this in here. I'm gonna fold this in half. Go up here. Why is it so complicated? Um three and a half. Okay, oh. All right. So, this is enormous. How do I want to do this? Can I put a nice... I'm like, didn't I put a nice pipe cleaner around here somewhere? Not a pipe cleaner, um... Zip tie. That's fine. Alright, so I'm gonna take a clear zip tie since my top is... Like that? Yeah. 
and then I'll just pull it out. All right, so now I'm going to try to get a grip on this. Just enough to get this underneath. Crosses. Tighten that up a little bit more. I thought I had some like heavy duty wire over here, but I'm just going to get two pipe cleaners. Only for length, like no, no other reason. All right, and this is tight, but it's not pulled down all the way, and I have the glitter in my eyeballs. The good one and the bad one. All right, so, oh, I have to go back and dovetail all of these. I'll do that after the video is over. All right, so this one is gonna come down like that and just make a little thing. Okay. Out. Up. Make sure everything's going the way it needs to go. I'm not pulling too hard because this is not tightened all the way. loop how long it is. Good God. Wait, I lost something. This is silver. This is the candy cane stripe. And then this is the silver tail, silver loop, red tail, red loop. Do this side. See, it's it's it, it's getting there. I'm gonna have the this tail, this loop, this loop, this tail. Okay. And then the next is this loop, this tail, this loop, this tail, this loop, this tail, this loop. Where's your tail at? Is this that way over here? I guess so. So that needs to come down. Oh, this one is the, this is the glitter one. All right, I was pulling the wrong ones. It was right. Sorry. So now 
that that is fluffed out accordingly, I am going to strangle the living daylights out of this because everything is where I want it to be. Sorry. Where are you at? Where's your tail? Just as an extra precaution, I just saw what I was looking for. Oh, no, 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 look at that. Y'all get back in there. Clean my desk, clean my kitchen today. Things trying to mess me up. I'm not gonna let it. All right, now I'm taking these two wires and running them exactly over where my cable tie is. Just because I don't trust my hand strength. don't want to hold after all of that. Well, that ain't none of my business. I think I'm just going to kind of wrap those around there so I have something a little sturdier to attach it to the tree. These, these 10-inch loops are ridiculous. Like, why did I even put these in here? I wanted to get this done tonight. Not only so I could be done with the video, but I think my mom is going to stop over tomorrow. tree at? Where the tree not done? So, there we go. It still needs fluffing. It still needs the edges trimmed. But, So I think I'm going to take 
<laughs> I mean, they just look ridiculous. Maybe I can pull them in some. Oh, no, I forgot. I tightened it the strength of 10 men. Okay. Oh, I'll get my mom to tighten that because she's stronger than me. All right, so that is a ginormous. Is it 20 inches? I mean, I guess if I go from here to here, it is. Yeah. Let's see, I don't... I might just cut these into, like cut all of them into just tails because the loops are not, because they're not holding up, which I kind of figured that would happen. All right, <clears throat> let me go do some more work on this, trim it all up and stick it on my tree so I can finish that video too. Thanks guys, I will see you later. Oh, I didn't even drink any of my tea drink some of my tea and I'll see you guys later.